demonstrate macro scheduler's image recognition functions. Image recognition is a great way to automate remote applications and applications with non-standard Windows GUIs, where it's not possible to hook into the API um, and access GUI components um, and detect Windows and window titles, etc. So image recognition is a way to make the script see the screen in much the same way that a user would use a computer and therefore it can automate any target application. In this case we have Microsoft Outlook sitting inside a, Cit a remote Citrix session. This is actually a Citrix demo account available at citrix.com. What we want to do is make, let's make a macro that will find the new button on the screen, click it to, and then wait for the new message window to appear and enter an email message. So we start off with a script here which has the get screen res command so that I know the size of the screen because the next command I want to use is the screen capture command. So I want to tell it to extract the entire screen to a bitmap file and then what we want to do is use the find image pulse function to look for the new button on that in that screen image. We use the capture tool to capture the button that we want to look for. Save that, new two. And so we're going to tell the find image button, find image pause command to look for new two in the screen bitmap that the screen capture command created and to tell it to return center coordinates when it finds it create an array for the x positions and y positions and give it a result variable and then all we want to do is say if an image was found move the mouse to center of the first occurrence and click so, so far, that should click the new button. So let's see what happens. So it's opened the new message window. So now what we want to do is tell the script to wait for that message window to appear because it could take any amount of time to appear. So we'll use the wait screen image function. Again, we'll use the capture tool. And what I'm going to do is capture this part of the window because that identifies this window. Title 2. And so we tell it to wait for that image to appear on the screen. Once the screen has appeared, once that form has appeared, we know we can send an email. tab twice to get to the subject field and some send a subject pressing tab again we'll get to the body and we'll send the message so that should be the entire script to find the new button click it then wait for the resultant untitled message screen and then send some text so if we close and run.